So today I have a silk thread haul for you. So it's somewhere I've never ordered from before, but um, I've always been intrigued by the pieces that they stock. Um, they stock Pretty Lavish among loads of other really nice brands, like probably London based brands I think they are. Um, so I'm going to try them all on and let you know what I think. The idea behind this video was I'm going to a friend's wedding so I was looking for a wedding dress but I also thought I would tie in trying to find something for New Year's or perhaps Beaujolais Day or just that like really nice outfit you want to keep for a special occasion. So that's the idea behind the dresses today. I'm pretty sure I ordered everything in a size 12 and the price between the items was about £45 to £145. So big difference in the price but nothing too over the top. So I'll try them all on and I'd love to hear below your favourite item um, and what you think of the dresses. If you are new to my channel, hello, welcome, I'm Katie, thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed yet then please click the subscribe button on the screen now to make sure you join the family and try to hit 1000 subscribers before Christmas so I'll be really really grateful. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. So the first item I have is absolutely stunning. The colour, I can't even tell you, it's like a gorgeous forest green. It's coming up a little bit tealy in the camera, I'm not sure why. But it's a really, really gorgeous, like, proper forest green. Very elegant, classy, sophisticated, very just, oh, I just love these kind of material dresses. I really hope this one fits really well. I'll show you how it fit in the cutaway. Um, this one is from a company called Urban Touch. It's um, a midi in length, as you can see. And it's got a little slit in the back detail just at the leg, which is ideal because nothing worse than trying to walk in one of these dresses. And you, you just can't walk properly. Um, it's got some little adjustments on the back for the sleeve, so it obviously makes them longer or shorter, depending on your bust and the shoulder height. But a really pretty, classy dress. So this dress is £55, which I think is actually a really good price point for this dress. I think it's just enough. It's definitely got the quality there, and it really does look quite expensive for not too much money. So the next dress I have is a little bit of a wild card. Um, you know when you see something on your line you're like I'm gonna try that, I'm gonna try it. So not me but it kind of reminds me of like a really like 70s um what are they called? Dressing gown. It's like a silky dressing gown. I did it just because the sleeves are long as well but this is from a brand called Dancing Leopard. Um, I got it in a size 12. It was a little bit big um, but also I just don't like the print on me personally. This dress was £49, um, which I think is an alright price for the dress. It's wrap around dress, so obviously this one goes through a hole and cinches you in at the waist, which is really, really nice, really good for curvy figures. Be nice with a nice bust, and, you know, smaller waist and going out at the hips. It's a midi dress, it's a really nice length, um, it's just not personally my style. I don't know whether to save this one till the end because it's my favourite probably. I might save it for a bit later. The next item I have to show you is this really pretty, like, floaty um, dress. I think for me this is a little bit maybe bridesmaidy for if I was going to wear it to a wedding. However, it's really pretty and I think it would look lovely on like a dark hair, olive skin look. It would look gorgeous. It's from a company called Flounce London. Um, as I said, everything was bought from Silk Fred though. And again, that's in a size 12. The fit was really nice on this, and I loved the way the skirt fell. Personally, I just didn't like the colour on my skin tone. Um, if this was a different colour, perhaps like a darker tone or darker colour, maybe a pale pink, this would have been absolutely perfect for me for the wedding. Um, so I probably would have kept this one. But I think the colour for me is a little bit bridesmaidy. I like the way that you can see like the detail on it. It's just a little bit... It's a little bit different and looks quite expensive. This one was £75. Um, yeah, it's very pretty, very simple. Draws in at the waist again. It's got that nice tie detail around the waist. Just like pretty and elegant and simple. Because it's Christmas, I could not not get something sparkly. And I don't think I could get anything much more sparkly than this. Although when I was wearing it, I did feel a little bit showgirl-esque. Um, so, you know... If you want to go for those vibes, then by all means. It's a really pretty dress. It's got a zip all the way down the back, which is perfect. The fit was lovely on the bust. Um, it's a really nice dress from a company called Sister Glam. Um, it has a split up the leg as well. So kind of, I think that's what the show really part of me thought. I felt like I was on um, one of those TV shows um, as the glamorous assistant. But, you know, if you want to feel really glamorous at Christmas or New Year, then this would be lovely for you. It was £75, I think. 
70 sorry 72 pounds um i don't think the quality is there probably for that i think you could get something similar in companies like quiz and things like that in town um at a similar price point but i do think it's a really pretty dress i just there's lots of little bits on it and i just think if like that for example like it could be just tidied up a little bit that's all but um a really pretty glamorous number if that's what you want to go for this christmas Okay, so I'm not going to save my favourite from last. I'm going to show you it now. Are you guys ready for this? This reminds me of the days where I used to do beauty pageants. And everything was just glam and sparkly. And I miss those days a little bit. A little bit of me doesn't miss them. But a lot of me does miss them. I miss the glam of it all, you know. Getting all your best. You just look your best all the time when you're in pageant land. So, anywho. This is from a company called Naz Collection. Annoying things on it. So, ignoring that, this is probably my favourite dress of the haul. I think it's so glamorous. Look at that detail. Like, it's got so much detail in one dress. It's gorgeous. It's got what they call a fishtail bottom as well. So it just goes slightly out and around. And you have a little trail. Like, for me, if it was a really... I don't know how glam this wedding's going to be. But if it was going to be a really glam wedding... I mean, it is on the 22nd of December. So potentially could be this Christmas dress. Like, I would love to wear this. If this was in a midi, perhaps, it would be the one. I might even look if they do do it in a midi because that might be my one. But I think maybe if you're going to like a new year, um, something quite glam. I just think, I think this is gorgeous. Like a forest green, high neck, really elegant, really classy. It's got really cute little button details on the back. Um, it's just beautiful. Holds you in at the waist because it's got that bit at the waist. It's lovely, really, really beautiful dress, and it costs. Um, this dress costs £115, but I think the detail is there for that and the quality. It's nice and thick. Um, it really is a beautiful number, and I think that's actually a really good steal, that, that price. Okay, so this next dress was one of those ones that you see online, you love, and then when you come, it's not quite what you imagine, but it is still really beautiful. I just wish it was a little bit more goldy or bronzy. It, it, in real life, it's got like a green tint to it, if that makes sense. But although it on camera, it's showing up a beautiful colour. <laughs> um, it's really nice, really elegant. Obviously, it's got this one shoulder that you tie yourself into a bow. Um, I'm not normally one shoulder kind of girl, but I just thought it was nice for a change. It's from the company Pretty Lavish, um, which I always see really beautiful ad, ads for on Instagram. Um, I really love this one. I, I can't find the price of it right now, but I'll link it down below. Um, let me know what you think of this one, because I personally actually really liked it on. When I first put it on, I was like, oh, no way. And then after a few minutes, I was like, no, actually, I don't know. I do kind of like it. So let me know your thoughts on this one down below. So now I'm just going to talk to you about the dress that I'm wearing currently right now. This has got beautiful little sleeve details. I really like this dress, although I think it's a little bit poor perhaps can't speak too cash for um weddings but i was just looking for ones with long sleeves so i wasn't going to be warm but i think maybe it's a little bit cash for a wedding um because i probably would wear it like i probably would wear it day day to night wear the glam level that we want to go for for weddings or new year or christmas or beaujolais or christmas party etc etc um i have got a video last year and loads of things are still online from is it Pretty Little Thing, I think? I'll link it down below. And it's got loads of Christmassy, like, bit shorter, more going outy numbers. And the last dress isn't too dissimilar from the first. Um, the only detail is it doesn't have the split down the back. And it's a little bit longer in length. And obviously the colour. Um, so this is a champagne colour. This one's from Pretty Lavish. Again, in a size 12. As you can see, I bought everything in a size 12. And... You can see the fit on everything is quite different so it just shows that buying online you do have to perhaps order a few sizes just to make sure um, or definitely buy in advance and try them on and have time to send them back um, before to make sure you get what you need in time for your event. Um, yeah so this one, don't know where the price has gone for this one now, I'll link the price of this one down below as well. I think this one's about 55 to 65 maybe. Um, I like this one, but I do feel it's a little bit like a nighty because it's it's not double lined, which I think is a shame. It's quite thin, 
and it does feel a bit like this is, I know this is a bit harsh the quality of like a boho boho boohoo dress like 20 quid 30 quid misguided dress and it's a lot more than that and the quality isn't there it's too thin it's just as thin as the, those kind of brands which are half or quarter the price so as as I show, as I said earlier the pretty little thing haul that I had a dress exactly like this in like a pinky pinky blushy rose gold colour um, and it was almost identical to this dress and probably half the price <laughs> or more so yeah a little bit disappointed but it is really classy really elegant really pretty dress um, yeah so thank you so much for watching today guys um, I hope you enjoyed seeing lots of different styles of dresses on my channel um, and a very different variety of dresses um, let me know down below what your favourite one was and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please click the subscribe button and join the family thank you for being here have a nice evening have a nice day bye